The member for Capricornia. Has the Thank call. you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment and Energy. Will the Minister update the House on the importance of consistency in energy and environmental policy in order to attract foreign investment and create jobs for hard-working people in regional Australia? What are the risks associated with alternative approaches? The Minister for the Environment and Energy. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Capricornia and know as a hard-working local member. She is fighting for regional jobs in Rockhampton, in Serena, in Pioneer Valley and in the coal fields of the Galilee and the Bowen Basins, Mr Speaker. And the most important mining project for the people in her electorate is the Carmichael mine, Mr Speaker. And that is why eight mayors, Labor mayors, Conservative mayors, signed this open letter in support of the Carmichael mine. The mayors of Rockhampton, the mayors of Mackay, the mayors of Whitsunday, the mayors of the Isaac Regional Council. Now, these mayors, these local communities, have not wavered in their support for the Carmichael mine, despite the rigorous environmental processes, despite the legal challenges, despite the personal tax. They haven't wavered in their consistent approach for this mine. But I tell you what, the Leader of the Opposition has, Mr Speaker, because he will say one thing to the miners in Mackay and another to the baristas in Brunswick, That's Mr right. Speaker. He will say one thing to people in Queensland and another to the people of Melbourne, Mr Speaker. This is what the Leader of the Opposition said in April last year, and I quote, I, I support the Adani mine, said the Leader of the Opposition. But in Batman, the Leader of the Opposition Opposition says he's increasingly sceptical, holding out the pro prospect that the mine doesn't deserve to go ahead, Mr Speaker. The member for Shortland on his website says, I quote, I welcome the jobs that the Carmichael mine will provide in Queensland, Mr Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition, on the other hand, says to the people of Batman that Carmichael mine will create fake jobs. They're never going to materialise, he said, Mr Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition goes to the Latrobe Valley and says to the workers that coal has a future in Australia. At the same time, the Labor Party supports motions in this place that says coal has no future in Australia. Mr. Yeah. Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition tells Pauline Hanson that he supports the coal industry. The Minister Mr. will Speaker. refer to and then the, senators by their Then the Leader of the well. Opposition will tell Jeffrey Cousins. I was referring to Senator Hanson, actually. The Leader of the Opposition will tell Jeffrey Cousins that if Labor gets to government, they will revoke the Carmichael licence, Mr Speaker. Now, we know the importance of consistency in policy, consistency in economic policy, the consistency in energy policy, consistency in environment policy. That is why we have created nearly one million new jobs since coming to office, Mr Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition might be increasingly sceptical about the Carmichael mine but the people of Australia are sceptical of him.